recall an all-time high for the Dow Jones Industrial Average, soaring to a new record closing at 11,727. Hello, I'm Yana Kay. UN diplomats are struggling to keep a Mideast peace plan alive, but Arab demands that Israel pull out first are making a ceasefire look less and less likely. Hello, I'm Yana Kay. U.S. allies who stood behind Israel when the crisis began are now changing their tune. Well, here's a question. Do you think your kids are spoiled? Well, according to a Time Magazine opinion poll out today, 80% of Americans surveyed say children are more spoiled now than they were a decade ago. But not your kids, right? It's a nice top story. NBC4's Yana Kay standing by live to tell us how Amarillo fares with the rest of the country. Yana? Jay, Amarillo is a city unlike any other. Now, I took a look at national economic, crime, and teen pregnancy statistics and compared them to local stats. And it seems like Amarillo doesn't follow national trends. The city sets its own. Now, Danny Coughlin also says the reason gas prices are so high isn't because there's not enough gasoline to go around. It's because there's a shortage of refineries. So far, the Randall County Sheriff's Office and the Education Foundation have raised a little over $20,000, all thanks to the generosity of people like you and local businesses. Now, Pat says he's done a lot of research, which tells him that there are close to 3,000 people living in Amarillo and surrounding areas. Ever wonder how ring clouds form? Well, kids at the Discovery Camp get a chance to find out. President Bush says he realizes the public is frustrated with the Iraq war, but terrorists would win if the U.S. leaves Iraq. While well, the Justice Department is appealing a federal judge's ruling that the warrantless wiretapping program violates the Constitution. Well, it's got nothing to do with magic, but it is Harry Potter like you've never seen him before. Stark naked. Well, after a massive manhunt, Virginia police captured an escaped prisoner wanted in two murders. Finally tonight, the happiest place on earth. Disneyland, right? Wrong. A new report says Denmark is in fact the happiest place on earth, and they've got a study to prove it. I'm Yana Kay. Thanks for watching. Dustin Dillon revs up his engine, puts on his helmet, and gets ready to go in a joyride. It's an everyday activity. And while he respects the power of his bike, many owners take it for granted, leading to deadly results. Like this accident where the driver was speeding and slammed his bike into a Jeep, killing him instantly. The bikes accelerate and do speeds that are, I think, a lot greater than what people expect. And they, and they, when they, they do start running them, they uh, get to a speed faster than what they, they know how to react. So they, they think it's fun until something happens. Now, Dustin says riding a bike like this one can be exhilarating. But he says a lot of people simply can't control their need for speed. And I think you do a little here and there. You get away with it. Your confidence gets built up. And then, you're, then you, you lose control. Dustin knows firsthand what happens when you speed and lose control. And now he won't take any chances. You, know, you need to respect them. Don't, you know, I mean, I've, you know, done it, have, you know, gotten in trouble for it before. You, you, want it, you want to ride fast, you want to do this, but, I mean, I've been lucky not to have been seriously hurt on one. Respect to keep everyone a bit safer on the road. Yana Kay, NBC4, Amarillo.